Patients that have a hair transplant often fear what, what people would call shock loss or hair loss, which is a, a shedding of hair after the surgery. Now, some people call this telogen effluvium, but it may be co more correctly called an antigen effluvium. And this is a result of hair loss that occurs after the physical trauma of the transplant. In most instances, and in almost all instances, after the shedding that takes place, these hairs will come back. As long as the hairs were strong, they'll come back. You can have the antigen effluvium that occurs around the donor site, and it can actually occur in up to five to 10% of the patients that experience the transplant. It depends on the, the strength of the hair follicles. If they're miniaturized and on their way out, they may never come back. But in most instances, if they're relatively strong, they will come back and patients don't have to fear about that. Patients often ask, when is the best time to have the, the transplant? Well, if you wait until you're completely bald in that area, certainly you won't have any shock loss or any fallout. However, everyone will know you've had a transplant. So you have to weigh out the pluses and minuses and decide for yourself which is the best treatment option. But know that there are certain things that we can do to minimize this fallout after the hair transplant. One of these things is using um, the laser postoperatively. Another is that we use copper peptide solutions and soaks. These things are both beneficial to reducing that along with good technique using small instruments and, and very careful anesthetics to get the best possible result and to minimize the feared shock loss. Thank you.